Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Lisa Russell, and I came up with this idea. Um, initially, it was called Another World. I participated in the last Art of Hack uh, with the VR team, and this is sort of an evolution in my interest in climate change. Um, I do a lot of work at the UN, which is a very policy and program-oriented type of uh, you know, institution, but I'm a filmmaker, and I curate artists' performances, and so I really try to straddle sort of art and film and try to take these very dense topics and make them more accessible to a wider audience. So my project idea was based on research that I found that answers Ainsley's question about what will happen if we hit zero. Where's Ainsley? Oh, Ainsley. Um, <laughs> And that is, I found research that said by the year 2100 that there's going to be some places on the earth that are going to be too hot for humans to inhabit. So in parts of Southeast Asia, for example, they're anticipating it's going to get up to 170 degrees. And that the likelihood of three out of four people dying of heat-related injuries is going to be a reality by 2100 if we do not reverse what's going on. So um, not to <laughs> scare you with that because our project is actually a little bit fun, but I came up with this idea w which was, okay, so let's say it is too far, that we're not going to be able to reverse this. What's actually going to happen? Are we going to walk around in heat retardant suits and space masks to deal with this heat? Are we going to resettle on another planet? If we're resettling on another planet, are there going to be corporations vying for our business? So my project sort of turned from this idea of, okay, so this corporation is going to be pitching this idea that we're going to relocate to another planet um, and all of, you know, the social political consequences that go along with that. And that's sort of what I came into the project with. And then I got linked up with an incredible team. Like we have the largest team, very diverse um, backgrounds, incredible group of people to work with. Really, I mean, in terms of what we were able to accomplish um, in four days was pretty remarkable. And what we did is we came in together on the first day and was like, had this really skeleton, you know, based story. Like, how are we gonna, what is the story? What, and that was another thing for VR. Like, instead of just making it a gimmicky, gamey kind of thing, like what's the narrative? What kind of narrative are we telling? And so we fleshed out a lot of different ideas, a lot of great um, solutions to some of the story structure that we were struggling with came that day. Uh, on the second day of the Art of Hack, we really kind of confirmed the script. And then we identified two external people who really helped make, put this uh, program together, this project together, which was Ainsley, who is our actor. He is the CEO. <laughs> And then we have Tyreek, who is our VR camera person, who is a good friend and colleague of mine. And he helped us actually shoot the 360. So we go from 360 live video into a 360 virtual world, which is where I'm going to pass the microphone off to Lorenzo, who is sort of in charge of that piece. But before I do that, the other thing that I really wanted to do is aesthetically, I wanted to have kind of a cool looking concept. So we have hosts in this experience that wear, um, you want to help me? wear uh, gas masks, Russian <laughs> gas masks, and uh, hazmat suits. So kind of taking off the, oh, can you hit the, the um, imagery of that the, with this idea that we're going to be going into space, and this is kind of what we look like. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> I'm Lorenzo. Uh, I helped out a lot with the VR stuff, and I will say that we did a lot, <laughs> a lot in four weeks, which is pretty amazing. Thank you, everyone. And I, I think we wouldn't have done nearly as much had it not been for Lisa. She really pushed us really far and, you know, made this some, a really spectacular uh, thing. And, you know, we still have a lot more to do. And Brian's going to show you a whole lot more of, like, all of the ideas that we've had and all the things that we're thinking of doing. We're going to be applying this to some film festival stuff. You know, like, it's pretty far out there. We're, you know, we're really excited about this. So, anyway, this is great. I hope you come see our demo. It was fun.